mention another uh, uh, of Alice Hamilton's um, and of the several things I might recount. Uh, uh, the Northwestern University put on an occupational disease symposium in 1937 in the fall, shortly after I had moved to Chicago. And it happened that uh, the uh, toxicologist uh, who was going to give the paper on uh, exposures uh, to uh, organic solvents <coughs> uh, was called to uh, Hawaii uh, on a case. And he called me up and uh, asked me if I would uh, talk about uh, exposures and control measures on the organic solvents uh, at this conference. Uh, was I planning to go? Oh, yes, I planned to go. Well, uh, I suppose you put something together. This, uh, of course, won't be until uh, the day after tomorrow. And uh, so I, uh, I went over my uh, background. And, and uh, uh, on that session, they only had two speakers for a session so that the speaker would have an opportunity to develop his theme at some length. And I introduced my talk in 1937 uh, very impressively by suggesting that uh, all of the examples which I'm going to be giving to illustrate this talk are taken from my personal experience over these last 12 years in industrial hygiene. At the end of my talk, the next speaker was introduced. <coughs> Uh, the next speaker suggested that she was uh, very much interested in Warren Cook's uh, talk, particularly based as it was on uh, his 12 years of experience in industrial hygiene. I might mention and talk about the toxicology of the organic solvents this morning. I'm going to base my talk on my uh, 25 years of experience in the field. 